Hello, Terrific Trines! My name is Worldtree, and welcome back to our Expert Mode Mobile Let's Play. And as you can see, the box around me has been spruced up a bit by some unique items. First up and foremost, we have that Heart Lantern right here. We have a uh, campfire, that's what it is. And second of all, you can't really see because of my titanium armor's effect, we have that heart statue there, and it's actually set up on two separate timers. I don't know if that exactly works or does exactly what it's supposed to, but uh... Let's hope so. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hop right into this. And uh... Take down... The... Oops. Oh boy. The destroyer. Now... Oh, do, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, do I have any archery potions? Hmm, no. But uh, I do have a crap ton of holy arrows. I went and I farmed for a bunch of those. I wish I had more archery potions, but I don't. I don't remember how to make them. I could probably check that out a bit later. But we're going to hop right into this fight. Alright. And we're just going to hope that all of these will just demolish... I'm really hoping, guys, because <laughs> we've been through too much to fail now. Far too much. Oh, I shouldn't have used that yet. Mm, oh well. Knockback is not the greatest of things here, but I feel like we're doing better as of now. Also, so I figured out a bunch of things since last episode. Why that key was not working? Why it said the it's been cursed by a powerful jungle creature is just um just because we haven't defeated Plantera yet, and I went on the wiki and figured all that out. Um, second of all, uh, I got quite a few tips and a lot of positive... Um, uh, I cannot think right now. A lot of positive feedback for last episode. And some of these tips included going and, oh hey, we actually did it! <laughs> Wow, these holy arrows really helped. Holy crap, I should have done that a lot sooner. Alright, we've taken out the destroyer. Awesome. That thing gave us so much pain last episode. My gosh. But it's dead now. So, <laughs> take that destroyer. Sweet revenge. Alright, uh, actually I'm also gonna... Mm. Uh, can't, need to get it back up here. Need to turn off that switch there. Or, or turn it off. There we go. Alright. Now, like I was saying, one of the tips... Oh, hey, we got a trophy. Sweet. One of the tips uh, I was given was to go and farm for life fruits, which we couldn't have done before this, actually, because life fruits required the death of a mechanical boss. But since we have destroyed a mechanical boss, those will start spawning, and we'll do that probably a little bit later in the episode. Man, those holy arrows really did a number. And since it's still night, I kind of want to take on Skeletron Prime, see how we fare against him. Probably not all that well, but I don't know. I don't know. Is that on? No? Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take on Skeletron Prime using the Deadly Stormbow. Once again, let's just hope that this will deal immense amounts of damage really quickly. I'll just run back and forth and hopefully up. Uh, nope. Mm -mm. When it's spinning, that's pretty deadly. So maybe I'll just stay in this area rather than the box itself and only go for parts. It's, if I survive, I probably won't though. on my arrows. Ah! Oh well. I mean, I, I'd say we did a pretty decent amount of damage. Not all that surprised that we uh, didn't take him down. And I probably just wasted a crap ton of holy arrows then, which could have been used for something else. How many do we have left? 500 and... Mm, I'll just have to figure out what to do in a minute. But, first and foremost... Oh. Ah, dang it, I removed my spawn point a while back on accident. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to actually open up that treasure chest there. So, let's do it right in front of this trophy here. 
I thought we had another trophy that- Oh yeah, it's over here, the Slime King trophy. Alright. Oh, the dash ability. I keep forgetting we have that. Alright. Oh, sweet! We got... A developer set. That is awesome! That's, that's pretty dang cool. You got to admit, that was pretty awesome. And as a matter of fact... Um... These wings here do look awesome, but we have our own vanity set right now, and those wings are part of the vanity set of our next playthrough. I already got that all figured out and set up and whatnot, and so what I'm going to do for every playthrough, I'm going to have a slightly different vanity set. Of course, it'll all still have similar themes and whatnot, but uh, they'll be different because, you know... They're different playthroughs and whatnot and everything, and I don't know, it just seems pretty cool, like a great idea to me, but dang, we got that. Alright, so we have one part of the mechanical wagon, we've got a bunch of hollowed bars. Is there anything we can make with these hollowed bars right now? Hmm. Yes. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a lot of defense. Um, we don't need that. We don't need that for now. That's 11, that requires 18, that requires 12, but gives you so much more defense. Dang, that's crazy. Hmm, I don't know, I think I might just keep these for now, but then again. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll just keep it, because it only gives us a plus one in defense. So, for now, I'm gonna keep it as is. I'm gonna go clean out my inventory, and then I'll see you guys in the jungle, because we're going to go explore that while we wait for night to fall. Alright, see you guys then. Bye! Alright guys, so we're here in the jungle, and this guy spawned while I was doing some stuff, and he has the yo-yo glove. Alright, so we're buying that really fast, and the format C, well, it's weaker than what we've got. It does look like a pretty cool yo-yo, but we're not going to buy it. So uh, here's what I've been doing. I've been bombing out this area, and unfortunately we don't have a titanium pickaxe, so we can't mine all this chlorophyte here that's kind of in the way. What I'm gonna do is build these bridges here of mud, and then we'll just move on with our lives, and then eventually we'll come back and probably end up finding quite, quite a bit of, um, of those life fruit, you know? So... Just a quick little update on that, and then I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, hold on, you know what? It's nighttime, so actually what we're gonna do is uh, take on the twins. Now, that sounds like kind of a terrible idea, but with this minecart here, um, I think we can do it. Now, first things first, Oh, I still haven't reset my spawn point. <laughs> Oof. Alright, let's reset my spawn point really quickly. Alright, then, what we're going to do... Take this... And, uh, that. We're gonna throw away, take that. Now, we're gonna make the yo-yo bag. Alright! It's not arcane. I mean, it's arcane, not what we want. So, really fast, let me reforge that, if I can find... Ah, he's in the corner there. Alright. Ah, it's another Blood Moon. <laughs> Why? Every time I go to take on a boss, it's... It's freaking... It's Blood Moon. Like, why? What did I do to you, RNG? What did I do? I must have pissed off the Terraria Gods at some point, somehow, some way. <clears throat> All right, and now our tour oh wow, our yo-yo is overpowered. Woo! All right, let's actually see how much damage this does. 62, so it's not that big of a difference, but I mean, with all the other stuff, it does quite a bit. All right, let me uh clean out my inventory real fast. Hmm. I forget what those make. Alright, you know what? Uh, I actually do not have 
Ah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go all the way to the edge of the world here. And uh, I guess we're going to end up using the Deadless Stormbow again. Just because I don't really have any melee weapons that do some serious range. So what's going to end up happening... You know what? I can just spawn it now. Yeah. Alright. We're going to... Hmm. This is not working out. Here we go. There we go. That's what I needed. Alright, if I do this, then most likely I'll be able to deal continuous damage to them. Hopefully. Unless they despawn. Which would suck. Oh, nope, they didn't despawn. Alright, and then we're just gonna shoot right back through. Hopefully not too fast. Oy. I don't even know if we're doing any damage to them. <laughs> Not a clue. I'm zoomed out all the way. Hmm, I am dying really, really quickly. Come on. Ah, oh, I was like one second left on health. Well, that did not quite go as planned. So, uh... <laughs> We're just gonna go on ahead and take out the destroyer again, really fast. I'll speed that up really quickly, and um, hopefully, oh, we got another Amarok. <laughs> I'm getting Amaroks like crazy just by living here. Uh, that's funny. All right, let's just jump right into this, I guess. Yeah. All right. Speeding it up now. See you guys in a second. Bye. All right, we took it down once again. <laughs> Man, those holy arrows really do have such the big difference. Such a big difference. They make such a big difference, guys. I don't know why I repeated that so many times. Alright, now, uh, I don't know how much the breastplate costs to make. So we're gonna go check that out really fast. Hold on, we're gonna sell that, sell that, sell that, sell those. That, that, that. I'm gonna keep that so that I can get that nice little buff. Alright, let's open this treasure bag again. Alright, so we now have 34 of those. Oh. Hmm. Well, the, uh, the door's not closing. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Hello, guide? Garrett, I think? Yeah, Garrett. Alright, let's see here. Um, the breastplate requires 24. So we can make one of those, but we will not have enough for hollowed greaves. Hmm, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I think I have enough... Let's make one more. You know what? I don't have enough. Crap. Crap diggity dang it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just craft this breastplate here. Alright, we're two down. One to go. It's interesting, though, guys. I think that the helmet does has more defense than the breastplate. I don't know. Maybe it's because the head is such a vital part of the body. Alright, guys. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go finish up that jungle thing and then I'll catch you guys there later and if we find any life fruit that'll be awesome all right see you guys in a little bit bye hmm, we just got a steampunker that's interesting <laughs> all right so uh, I've made these bridges this little farm thingamabob here yeah and now I'm just gonna go exploring around looking for uh, life fruit all right, um, actually, you know, I just recalled, oh, I had 13 of the, oh, I dropped it over there, hmm, oh well. So, actually, um, you know, like I was saying earlier at the beginning of this episode, uh, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback on my last episode, and a lot of tips, actually, and one of those tips that I see, um, that I saw, 
happens to be shortening my episodes, and I know the reasoning behind that, and actually, uh, I've been considering doing that for quite some time now. And in my last episode, oh, I'm, I've got the confusion debuff. Oh, nope, it's off now. Um, in my last episode, part of the clip that I cut out um, was me talking about that, and the reason for that was otherwise, if I didn't, it would just be super long. And so, what I'm going to be doing from here on out is actually attempting to shorten my episodes by quite a bit. So rather than like 30 minutes, I'm trying to get it down to 20 minutes. And then from there, we'll see if I can get maybe 18 to 15 minutes or whatever. So that's what's going to end up happening. I'm hoping this episode will end up then, around that time frame. But um, it's just really difficult to know how much content I've been recording, how much content is recorded, you know, all of that good stuff. So yeah, just from here on out, I'm going to try and shorten all these. Man, look at all this loot we're getting. I wish I'd explored a lot more earlier but yeah from here on out i'm just going to try and um shorten all of my episodes quite a bit and so thank you to all of those of you who have been giving me a bunch of positive feedback wow there's a lot of nice stuff that we're getting today hmm let's get rid of that and that and that and that and that i'll take that 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 and that I'm actually going to use right now. There we go. Now I can find some life fruit. Alright guys. So as soon as I find some life fruit. I'll bring you guys back. And uh, hopefully at some point. We will have. A titanium pickaxe. Because <laughs> we need it to mine all this chlorophyte. Alright see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Alright, so I've been exploring for quite a bit of time, and I can't find any, but I did find this strange plant. So we're gonna mine that really fast. And, um, you know what? That's a good way to end this episode. Alright guys, so like I was saying, I'm gonna try and keep these episodes shorter from here on out. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> Thank you guys for watching up to this point. Smash that like button, drop a comment, you know, any tips, tricks, tricks, anything you think would help me. Um, subscribe if you want to. Um, that means a lot to me, especially the comments, guys. Like I said last episode, I got a lot of positive feedback. Thank you so very much for all of that. That's what keeps me going, guys. It really. Hold on now. Is this. Ah, we found the jungle temple. All right. That's an even better way to end this episode. <laughs> ah, there's a bunch of traps there. I see you, pressure plate, and that's a fire trap, I think. All right. No, that's a dark trap. Let me just, uh... Ah. Tortoise. Ah, I keep doing that. No, no shell for world? Oh, that's sad. All right, where's that pressure plate? There it is. Ah. Is there another one? No? Alright, so I'm gonna loot this chest really fast. Definitely need one of those. I'm just gonna click loot all. Ah, a solar tablet. Nice. So that's what we'll be doing next episode in hopes of better weapons and a bunch of other good stuff. Alright guys, so once again, thank you for watching up to this point. Drop a comment, leave a like, smash that like button, you know. Consider subscribing, please. Um, it means a lot to me, guys. And this has been a very productive episode, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Alright, this is World Tree, signing out, guys. Peace!